right, today we're going to be hooking up these two 12 volt batteries in parallel. And what that means is we're going to maintain the 12 volt rating of the battery and what the amp hours get added together. So it'll still be a 12 volt system, but instead of 100 amp hours, we'd have a 200 amp hour capacity. The reason you'd maybe want to do this is if you're upgrading your existing 12 volt system and you have a 12 volt inverter and that kind of thing, then you want to stick with 12 volts until you can upgrade if you chose to do so later when you get a 24 volt inverter. So today we're going to go ahead and go over how to hook these up in parallel first. Then after we're done with that, we're going to go ahead and move on and I'll show you how to connect them in series and upgrade your system to 24 volts. So the first thing you want to do is you don't want to just connect these, you want to top balance them first. And what that means is you want to make sure they're as close to equal as possible before connecting them or you'll have a massive inrush of current from one battery, the one that has the most uh, charge to it will suddenly flood into the other one. So then that potentially could damage your battery. So what we want to do is test their batteries first. Now, my videos are designed mostly for beginners. So I understand that not everybody's going to have all of this stuff. If you don't have a meter to check it, then what you can simply do is connect each battery individually to a battery charger or to your MPPT charge controller and let it charge up all the way. Disconnect it, then hook the other one up. So let's go ahead and check these batteries first. So this battery is at 14.05 volts. Now let's check this battery. Now this battery is only at 13.32 volts. So we want to try to bring this as close to 14.05 volts as we can get it. I'm going to quickly pause this video for a moment and ask you to subscribe to the YouTube channel. So go ahead and click that subscribe button and the like button as well while you're at it. Then ring that notification bell to get, to get notifications. I'd really appreciate it. Now let's get back to it. So there's multiple ways that you can do that. And again, I understand that not everybody has all the equipment that they may, may need when you're first getting started, like an AC battery charger for lithium iron phosphate batteries. Something like this. So what I'm going to demonstrate today is rather than use this, how you can use your existing uh, charge controller for your system to achieve the same goal. So what we're going to do is we, we know that this one is 14.05. We're going to go ahead and connect this battery to our charge controller. And when our charge controller indicates that we are at around 14.05 volts, then we can disconnect it and then it's safe to connect the two together. So let's go ahead and do that now. Now I have my system turned off back here at the moment until we get this all set up. All right, so we have that connected now. Let's go ahead and pan up to here. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this system on now. So as we can see, our charge controller here, showing this at 13.3 volts. And I do not have the solar panels turned on yet because you should always turn on your battery before you turn on your solar panels. So let's go ahead and turn on the panels now and see what we got. All right, so we've got 33 watts, it's still tracking. It's a pretty gloomy day outside. 
connected to a 200 watt panel too but that'll actually work good for this purposes here we want to increase this slowly bring it up to where we want it to be so we're going to wait till this is 14 volts approximately and we'll just keep an eye on our charge controller there and uh, we'll get back to you as soon as it's done charging all right we got those balanced out let's go ahead and disconnect this again i have the system off back here All right, now we're gonna to wanna to line these up here and um, connect these up. We'll start here. And what I'm gonna use here is a uh, two watt wire. Gives us plenty of room if we have a two, 2,000 watt, 2,500 watt inverter. Or something like that we know we can handle it for battery to battery connections i always recommend using the biggest wire you got at least two watt if not four so we're going to connect our two positives together and then we're going to connect our two negatives together and then we're going to let this sit and equalize between the two for about two hours and then we know the batteries will be in perfect balance with each other. And now you may get a spark here. You want to step back and watch out. And that would, if they were not in balance, you'd get one heck of a spark. So that means they're pretty good. All right, and now we're going to let that sit for two hours before we connect it up back up to the system. Okay, so it's been a couple of hours now, and we're going to go ahead and hook it up to our system. We know that they're nice and equalized and balanced out. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove the negative side. And while I'm here, I wanted to talk about these ends. Now, I'm using pure copper, and I would recommend uh, using tinned copper for, they're better for oxidation and corrosion and that sort of thing. And the only reason that I'm using these is because I got them for free. So I'm just putting that out there. Definitely recommend paying the like 10 cents more to get the tin copper. They're going to last you much, much longer. So, okay, we have that connect, disconnected now. And we have our system back here. And this is my, wired into our system. And I have the circuit breaker off that I'm using as a battery disconnect switch. So you see everything is off. My solar panels are over here and those are off everything's off so we'll go ahead and connect our battery uh, cable here like so to our negative side just stacking them on top of each other tighten that up and then rather than use the same battery for the positive and the negative, we're gonna go at an angle, we're gonna use the one that's at the end of the line in the parallel connection. That way, the negative's on one battery and the positive is on the other because it's gonna keep your batteries in balance better that way. So now we're gonna remove this one. Like so. All right, so we have a negative going to our, our uh, system here, and our positive is going down to this fuse down over here. Now we're going to go ahead and turn this system on. And you can see 14.36 volts. They are fully charged, both of these batteries together. Um, and there you go. This is a parallel system so there's two batteries connected getting 12 volts or in this case 14 
volts because they're lithium iron phosphate batteries that are uh, that are being charged so now that that's on it would be safe to turn on your solar panels uh, i'm not going to do that right now because i'm going to show you now how to connect these in series which would be what you'd want to do if you wanted these to be a 24 volt system so that you had if you had a 24 volt inverter then you'd want to run two 12 volt batteries in series to make them into 24 volt let's go ahead and do that now and i'll demonstrate how to do that Okay, so we've got everything disconnected here. Now we're gonna wire these up in 24 volt. And this is, in some ways, even simpler. We're gonna remove our negative on one side and our positive on the other. And then we're gonna take a single wire and we're gonna connect the positive on one battery to the negative on the other. Now, I don't actually need to hook my system up to 24 volts at this moment, but we will be upgrading to 24 volts here very soon. So I just wanted to demonstrate this while I had the battery guys out here and messing around with them. Okay, so since I'm not actually going to connect this up, here's what you would do, though. You see, we have one positive terminal that's free and one negative terminal that's free. So we would hook up our system to from our positive to this one and our negative to this one over here. All right, so here we're gonna just demonstrate with the uh, voltmeter here that this is in fact 24 volts. We'll put our negative here and our positive there. And you see 28.08 volts, effectively making this a 24 volt battery. All right, so that wraps up this video. I'm making a series of beginner friendly DIY solar videos for those who are just getting started on their solar journey. If you want to start at the beginning, you can see that video right there. And if you want to watch a review video for this battery, you can do that right here. I'll see you in the next video.